Hey guys, so it's Monday. Welcome to FU. We look like David Boy. much to talk about. I had a really great time in Oxford um, this weekend uh, visiting Max and Kyle. Uh, we had a good time. We walked and got cold. Oh, Kyle. Um, not really doing anything at all. There's not, I, I didn't draw anything, so there's no the art of the day and there's no what's going on in the sewing world. Speaking of sewing, I'd like to introduce you all to Cone. I'm sure you all seen the pictures on Facebook. Um, if you haven't, you should go check them out because that's probably a better indication of what what he looks like. Um, it's Cone. He's um he's a sweetie and I love him. I liked how he turned out. Now, I mean, of course I do because I made him. I almost lost a couple of fingers with him. I got nicked a couple of times by the um by the screw that's in the that's in the sewing machine. Um, and the screw would knock my hand and almost bring my finger under the quickly moving uh, needle. Uh, yeah. Do you think comb would look good splotchy red? I didn't think so. Those of you who don't know, I got the part of the milkmaid in Oliver. It wasn't the part that I wanted, but I'm not, I am disappointed like any normal person, but um, I am really, I am actually really proud of myself for getting as far as I did in auditions because, I mean, I've never gotten that far, if that makes any sense. I'm really excited to get started on rehearsals because, I, I don't know, the people that audition seem really, really awesome and I can't wait to work with them. And also, just to be back on the stage will be so great. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to talk about Battlestar because I think I should. Battlestar, last week's episode, was not, like, uber, uber crazy. Um, there was a lot of information that was really really important. I hope, Jesse, you've caught up, and Ellen, I hope you watched last week's. I'm not going to spoil anything, I promise. I'm really kind of excited about last week's because they revealed some things that I really have strongly, like, those were my theories, and so some of my theories have come true, and I'm really excited about that. I know I'm such a nerd right now, but I am so excited that some of my theories have come true, and one of my, one theory that I've been strongly for since, like, the very first season, what, I can't say it, but I Ah, uh, if, if you, if you want to know, just text me or Skype me or message me because I'll let you know. <laughs> Truly, I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is watching Bleach and homework and doing homework. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. Bleach is going and right now. I'm at the point where they're trying to, um, for a new plot line. I doubt any of you guys are going to watch it, so they rescued Ruki Akuchki. So now they're, like, there's a new threat of Aizen and... Jin, or Gin, whatever, how you pronounce his name. Creepy guy with the big smile, that's how I refer to him. Anime just confuses me sometimes. But I really am in love with Zoraki Kenpachi. He is really cool. I didn't think I was going to like him, but he is pretty much a badass. Like, seriously. Like, he doesn't have a Bankai, and he doesn't know the name of a Zangpak Toe, which is a big no-no in the Soul Society, and he's a captain. He is so badass. Like, guys, oh my god. <laughs> and, like, he wears a patch, and he has bells on his hair to to hinder him, but it's it's cool. I, I know, okay, y'all don't care about this. Why am I talking about it? Back to what I was originally talking about. They're building a plot line because they have to build it up and tell you what's going to be crazy and <sighs> I'm just going to move on. That'll probably be the best thing. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. Okay, so y'all want to know why this week is awesome? MK got a letter. MK got a letter. MK got a letter. I wonder who it's from. <laughs> Actually, I know who it's from. It's from Helen. She's in vlog tag with me and she she lives in the UK. I just wanted to show like show you what she wrote me like this really long this long letter and she has a uh, band names for uh since there's like Wizard Rock, and there's uh, Time Lord Rock. She said there should be Labyrinth Rock, which I completely agree with. And, like, some of the names are, like, Higgle and the Hoggles and the Oubliettes. Fairies that bite. Ludo and friends. Who do you do's? We're just the knockers. Oh, it's great. That was to protect uh, the picture that she, that she drew of me. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. Helen, if you're watching, like, I completely love it. I'm going to say, I'm going to show this on vlog tag, too. So that's it. I hope y'all all have an awesome week. And Ellen, I'll see you tomorrow. Squee! Look at me. I'm just all anime up. This is so cool. <laughs>
play dance. Not really. I'm just kidding. Okay, we're gonna stop now. Oh my gosh, it's a Pikachu! Well, go! <gasps> I captured Pikachu! 